Okay, so we just got today from Synology the DS920 Plus Disk Station 4 Bay Network Attached Storage Device. So this is Synology's latest NAS. It's an upgrade on the DS918 Plus. Uh, four core CPU with AES and I support. It's expandable storage and it also has two M.2 NVMe SSD cards. So if you want to attach um, that SSD, NVMe SSD for those very, very, very fast read write speeds onto your NAS then you can do that. So this is uh, out of the box as it came from uh, Taiwan to Israel. Checking what's in here firstly so let us uh, take a look at what is included. Alright so um, first thing to say about this uh, box actually is that the rather attractive you got the nice little Synology uh, you know on the actual top of the box it came in very very well packed um, all the components have their own areas here so I'm just gonna go ahead and check check out what is in cardboard box number one a few accessories are gonna be here as one would expect this is the first thing we have it's the Synology uh, charger and you can see it's got a three-pronged uh, C14 uh, input there um, and this is uh, this came straight from Synology, so straight from the manufacturer in China. So I don't know if you're if you're buying this in the. Uh, it's launched here in Israel just last week on the eighth of June. Um, they give you a couple of RJ45 uh, Ethernet cables as well. Uh, always useful, I guess. These are about one meter, so I'm just gonna put those down by the side. And what other goodies do we have here? Um, couple of port covers, uh, they gave us a few screws, always very very appreciated whenever you're mounting stuff into a computer to get these uh, this specific type of screw, so appreciate that that came and we have a uh, quick installation guide as well in English and in and you can see it's uh, just guiding you through, it's got different steps here for the 3.5 inch uh, 3.5 is of course the standard uh, hard disk size, the bigger one. More commonly nowadays if you're looking at you know the 2.5 inch SSD. Uh, it's a 4 bay NAS so you can see the diagram it just explains you want to just put literally put one in and uh, the locking mechanism is thusly described and just a little networking diagram as well and a couple of QR codes and uh, very thorough manual it goes through also the whole you know the actual steps involved here in going in so far as how to configure the uh, screws for the 2.5 inch disc so i'm going to be going through those once i stick my ssd storage into the nas box number two is a rectangular box so let's just uh see what we got over here Oh, that is delightful. That is absolutely delightful. So, as I mentioned, I am based in Israel. Israel is one of the weirdest plugs in the world. It has a, uh, it's a three, uh, rect three circular plug. Uh, I believe it's type G in the international plug standards. So, I'm not sure if they put that in just for me. That's very, very kind if they did. I was expecting, because I have so many of these uh, connectors lying around, to just kind of put my own one in. But uh, that is really awesome. So, what we're looking at here is a... They gave me just the plug into the, this is a, a C14 to go into the, uh, so this actually doesn't come with, it's a simple AC to DC adapter. So I'm going to be, I'm actually going to be uh, connecting this into my uh, UPS because I want to have my NA. I'm going to put this in my office, hook it up to the router directly on Ethernet. Okay, now the start of the show, let me just get rid of uh, of this. And this is the final thing in the packaging that is clearly the NAS itself. And just to verify, there's nothing else. But it certainly came very, very well packed. You've got some nice bit of cushioning at the bottom. Uh, as one would expect, DHL international shipping halfway across the world in the middle of the pandemic. So um, now let me just uh, get at the actual NAS. Quite a little bit of uh, trickery here. Here we go. So this is the NAS itself. Um, as you can see, the the four bays here. We got some nice LED lights on the side. 
There is a uh, USB, and I believe that's USB 3. I think it's, it's, it's 3 whenever it's blue. Um, input there and uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, user documentation. This is my first time uh, using an NES so I've set up plenty of local Ubuntu servers but uh, first I'm getting my hands on an actual NES uh, device so this is all this is all very interesting to me. There's another USB port in the back and uh, a couple of nice fans here and we have a couple of two uh, RJ45 ports here at the back and our power input here. So that's just what was in the box and uh, I am very very much looking forward to making the next video. I'm going to be looking at the active backup suite and uh, how well this performs uh, with Ubuntu Linux.